And we got a bunch of yellow bikes down there too. Hopefully we'll get something good. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> you gotta stay down there, man. This is my spot. No zombies allowed up here. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. These zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator, and we are ready to do Horde 77. We are at uh, game, sta game stage 267, so I'm expecting it to be a pretty beefy Horde. Um, so let's go ahead and get going on this so i have a bunch of ammo and explosives that i've made up and so we're going to load all this into the bike and head on down to the horde base and also there's a couple things i want to show you uh two there's there's a little bit of upgrading that we still need to do at the very top of the horde base so we're going to stop by and just touch that up real quick along the way uh, but I do want to make sure that I don't use up all of my steel, uh, because we're going to need some for repairs as well. Let's take some shotgun shells down there, too. Um, I don't, do I have a rocket launcher? I do not have a rocket launcher. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, speaking of which, if I didn't already show you this, I do, I do have a level 3 in Demolitions Expert, um, so that's going to allow us to... Uh, uh, do pretty decent damage, you know, with explosives on the horde tonight. Let's grab whatever steel we have in there, and we're going to just hop off the forges here and just keep them cranking out the steel. And the reason I'm upgrading this to steel is because I have seen where the zombies will sometimes um, attack, you know, this up here. And this whole plan is contingent upon them coming down through that funnel. What we don't want them to do as we don't want them, you know, to detect me, like, say, right here and start digging straight down to me uh, there. Because if that happens, then the whole thing pretty much falls apart. So we want to make sure this upper area is as strong as it can be. Now, I mentioned to you guys, if you remember, that we're going to cover up... We're going to cover up the entrance to this place uh, with dirt. So, um, here, before we do that, let's let's go ahead and leave stuff in the bike that we're not going to need down there. So we're not going to need the wrench. We're going to take the gasoline. Uh, we should... Maybe we'll take the machete in case we get dogs. Uh, we shouldn't need the auger down there. And I uh, don't think we need the cloth. We don't need the lock picks. Everything else. I'm going to keep the wood because I just don't like being without wood. Oh, let's go ahead and put the pain pills in here, too. Okay. And we're going to have to make two trips, uh, obviously, to get all the ammo down there. But what, I'm, what I have set up here is I've got a, a chest with... Uh, oh, you know what? what how much time do we have? I want to put I want to put some lights down here too, uh, but anyway I've got a chest with a shovel in it. Uh, that way you know if we die down there and we respawn up above we can dig our way back down. And then I have a chest here with another shovel and some dirt uh, that we'll use to cover that entrance when we're ready to come down here uh, for good. I also dug a, a little a pitfall here that you can see. So you know if, if the zombies actually got in here and were chasing us I could pull those blocks up. Uh, that would slow them down. It certainly wouldn't stop them. They'd just rip through the stone down there, but, you know, it would slow them down a little bit for us. Okay, let's get up here. And we're going to drop off all of this stuff in here. So, uh, I'm going to put a light up here. Um, let's just set it down there. It doesn't really matter too much where we put it. And then, um, let's also put a light in here. There we go. Okay, let's patch this up. The idea here, again, being that, um, if, you know, if that's patched up with dirt, it, in theory, should not appear, you know, to the AI as a potential pathway down to us. Uh, again, that's the theory. Hopefully that's an accurate theory. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if we come down here, 
have to come back up here or down here and we don't have our helmet light because we died or whatever. Now we'll be able to see what's going on. Oh, it gets dark down here, doesn't it? My goodness. All right, let's get our generator started. It's fully fueled. And we're just powering, you know, like, what is it? Eight, nine, ten, it's ten fence posts, and that's it. So, you know, that thing could probably run for several hard nights before it ran out of gas. All right, let's get our our uh, toolbar situated. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have the this on the toolbar because we're not gonna be doing any melee. So let's put, um, let's see, let's put the repair gun there, and let's put the AK there. We'll leave those guys where they're at, and then we'll put the Molotovs in five. We'll put the pipes in six, and the nades in seven, and then we've got. The first aid kits there okay we'll put the gasoline in here we don't need to take that with us uh, we want to have in our inventory uh, we're good on food and drink we want to have electrical parts and we want to have iron because we'll need those to repair the fence posts because we'll have to do a little bit of repairing of those as the night goes on let's put a couple of 762s in here because i'd like to have all the explosives or at least most of the explosives in our inventory because we're going to rely upon explosives for the most part uh, with this horde knife. Partly because that's kind of what the base is designed for anyway, but also... Oh, I guess I had some lights in here. Also, um, you know, I still don't have very good skills yet in machine gunner. I only have, you know, the second level. And, uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get some tough zombies tonight, so I don't wanna spend too much time, you know, trying to shoot them, because I'm just gonna waste ammo and not be, <coughs> excuse me, quite as effective. But we might, you know, we might do a little bit of shooting, too. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's go on inside. Now, um, let's see. We've got about 47, 48 minutes, in-game minutes left. So, what I want to do is I want to bring up the YouTuber who I got the inspiration uh, for this for. So, let's, let me get that up. Um, this YouTuber whose name is Iron Curtain Gaming, is where I actually got the idea for the hanging base. And um, so, you know, give this guy a follow or a subscription and check out his video. It's really cool. And, you know, he's he's got a, a much larger setup than what I do, but the concept is basically the same. So this platform that these guys are standing on are hanging, you know, from these posts. And even though they do have support pillars, he, and he says this in the video when you watch it, you know, these are not needed. So if the zombies completely broke those down, you know, this platform's still going to stay in place because, you know, it's hanging from these supports. Uh, so this is where I originally saw this idea. I know other Seven Days to Die players, you know, like uh, Z Nation FFS, also has utilized similar types of hanging designs. You know, so he's not the, you know, the only guy that um, came up with this idea, but he's the first one who I saw do it. And so, yeah, check this video out. It's Iron Curtain Gaming and... Uh, the uh, 18 base design, safest, most effective base build is the title of it. And I wanted to show you real quick here. We're running out of time. Okay, so this is his chute. So his chute is a lot is larger than mine. So he's got a uh, four by four chute where I've got a two by two chute. But you can see that he's also got the electric fences in place. Um, you know, to just like I like I do to zap and stun the zombies. As they fall through. So anyway, really cool. Check this guy out. Iron Curtain Gaming is the dude who came up with this. Kudos to him uh, for doing so. And we have about 15 in-game minutes. All right. This is going to be awesome, you guys. This is going to be awesome. So my plan is that I'm not really going to do much shooting, if any at all, from the middle. Just because, you know, I'd have to kind of sneak it in there a little bit and I could go over the edge. And I just don't want that to happen. Uh, so if we do any shooting, we're going to do that from the side. And, you know, we have plenty of room through this gap to shoot down in there uh, if we do any shooting. But we will use the middle area, you know, to throw the explosives down. And so probably what I'll do is I'm going to lay down, I'm going to lay down, you know, like maybe four or so pipe bombs. I'll just throw them, you know, without igniting them. And then I'll, I'll ignite or detonate a grenade uh, to set them all off. So we kind of have like a little bit of a, uh, you know, of a, a cocktail of explosions there. And I'm expecting, you know, I'm halfway to the next level. 
I'm expecting to get a couple of levels tonight. Uh, we, we should That should happen if everything goes well. And, uh, you know, we're putting points into Fortitude and into Machine Gunner as we get those points. Okay, here we go. It starts Horde 77 from our hanging base. Let's see how we do. There's our first victim. Look at that. They're getting zapped. What we'll do is we'll let it we'll let it build up a little bit. And then uh then we'll blow them up. Okay, that's a pretty good group. And we got a copper too, so we don't want him spitting if we can avoid it. So we'll throw four of those down there. And then ignite with a nade. Whoa! 16,000 XP right out of the chute. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hey, cut that out. Wow, that, that hurt. You really did some damage there. 6,700 XP from there, good. So yeah, we'll throw about four pipe bombs and then detonate a grenade on top of them. Thir almost 14,000 XP on that one. Beautiful. So it's kind of a... We, we want to kind of let them build up so we get maximum bang for our buck. Pun intended. 14,000 points there. Thank you very much. But on the other hand, we don't want to wait too long to where we get a bunch of cops because, you know, then they start spitting. And, you know, they do some serious damage. What the hell? Oh, I don't have any steel in my inventory. Okay. So we, we are going to have to, you know, keep on top of repairs. I don't think it's going to be hectic, uh, but we will have to keep on top of it. All right, we got a big group down there, so let's light these mofos up. Here we go. Let's see how much XP we get from this one. 11,000. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We've seen better, but that's not bad. That was a copper explosion. Okay, let's top off our stacks here. And we'll let it build up. Maybe we'll uh, give him a little bit of a warming reception there. Ah, this one should be good. See if we can get over 10,000 XP from this one. 16,000! Woot! <laughs> Love it! Love it! We're almost almost to the next level already. Eleven thousand on that one. Nice, nice. Okay, we'll let it build up again. We'll light him up here. Okay, I saw that. Oh man, I saw that spit coming. Uh, we don't have we should have something to drink on our inventory just for that very purpose. Not that we needed a drink at that point, but... Alright. Almost, it almost looked like that cop spit blew the Molotov back into my face. 10,000 XP and we got a level. Very nice. Okay. Another cop explosion. Probably sometime around 1 a.m. or so. 12.31 a.m. We'll check, um... We will check our uh, fences and they'll probably need some repairing. So we'll wait till we're roughly halfway through the Horde Knight, and then we'll take a look at him. Okay, let's get 10,000 XP on that. Good, good. All right, we just took a spit, so let's just kind of touch things up here. Nothing too bad. All right, let's light him up. Fifteen thousand XP on that. Beautiful. I'll take it. Got another copper. Now, the one thing about, you know, throwing the pipe bombs down there in advance like I've been doing, you know, they'll, they'll disappear after about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. So we, we can't wait too long, you know, when we're throwing them down there. Oh, wow, we got a pretty good size spit off that one. He really did some damage on the thing. 8,000 XP, all right. What the hell? Get down there. I'd like to have more Molotovs than I do, but the problem is... Oh, that was a waste. The problem is, 
you know, gas is sort of kind of hard to come by in the wasteland. I mean, in, in, in quantity, I should say. I can certainly get gas easily from rich and cars, which is the only way I can get it, really. But, you know, it, that takes a fair amount of work to get a stack of 10,000. And so it's not like I can mine oil shale and make hundreds of thousands of, you know, cans of gas like I could if I had a desert biome. We're getting a lot of cop explosions, which means I'm not getting the XP. It kind of sucks, but I don't know what I can do about it. Okay, we'll let him build up. Okay, let's do this. Those must be hitting the, the top thing there. Nice thing about this design, though, is that the pyramid, the upside down pyramid, basically filters the explosions into the center. And, you know, that's just a 4x4, no, I'm sorry, it's a 5x5 five five area down there. And the radius on the pipe bombs is 3, which means it'll, you know, basically cover a 6x6 six six area. And the grenades are five by are a, a radius of five blocks, which means it covers a ten by ten. So basically, the zombies can't escape from the explosion. Ow! That hurt. All right, let's pop a a medi pack. Got nine thousand XP on that one. I probably should try and keep the explosions up a little more frequently to prevent those cops from exploding. Again, the only real problem with that is I'm not getting all the XP from it. It's not that it's really causing any trouble for the base itself. Okay, let's, uh... Got only 4,000 from that one, huh? I would've thought we, got, we would've got more, but I guess not. Eight thousand for that. All right, let's replenish our stacks here. We've got a demo. Almost seven thousand XP for that one. That's not bad. We are about three quarters of the way to the next level already. It's fantastic. I wonder if we can get uh, three levels tonight. It's quite possible. We'll see how things go. All right, we need to check our fence posts. So let's light these guys up, and then go take a quick look uh, at the fence post. Uh, that one is good. Check this one here. That one's good. This one I'm sure we're going to need something on. Yeah, see, it's, it's roughly halfway down, so we repaired that. Same thing here. Yep, that one's not quite half, but close. Not worried about repairing the ones that are way down below, because um, they're, they're taking a lot less hits than, uh, you know, these center, central ones up here. Fire will soften them up for us. Some of them are even already dying. 8,889. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think from what I've paid attention to, and I haven't paid attention to every single one, but I think 16,000 and change was the best XP we've gotten in one explosion so far tonight. Fifty-eight hundred there. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's get these guys topped off. We'll probably just end up using up all of our explosives, or at least all of our pipe bombs. And then, you know, if the Horde Knight is still happening, we'll finish off the night with our M60. We got a bunch of yellow bikes down there, too. Hopefully we'll get something good. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> you gotta stay down there, man. This is my spot. No zombies allowed up here. Okay. Later on, um, I'm sure I'll probably be able to make a, you know, make a rocket launcher. And then, you know, we can add that to our arsenal, too. I don't know if that cop's gonna spit or not. All right, we got our second level, and it is uh, almost 2 a.m. Let's see if we can get three levels tonight before this is over, or at least as close as possible. I got a cop spit. Okay, that didn't really do too much damage, fortunately. Yeah, he spit right away. Okay, let's soften him up with this. Oh, that, that made it up here, not down below. Interesting. Almost 6,000 for that one. Ah, that copper blew up. Okay, we got a demo down there now. We've actually had a couple demos now, I think. One advantage, too, if you guys didn't already know this, to using explosives on demos is it doesn't detonate them. So that's definitely a big plus, you know, for using explosives on a Horde Knight. All right, let's see what we do. Sent those guys up in the air, didn't we? Let, let it build back up. Okay, 
while we're letting it build back up, let's just do a little bit of touch up here. Nothing is severely damaged, but we want to keep it in tip-top shape. Especially these uh, poles here, because they're real critical. But even if the center ones went out, you know, we've got these over here too, so... We are doing fine, doing fine. Okay, so we probably got a pretty decent group down there now. Let's light them up. Whoops, I didn't mean to, uh... Detonate that one yet. Ah, dog on it, you stupid cop. Cop got to him. I almost wonder if I shouldn't maybe, you know, do an explosion. And then try and finish the cops off with the M60. They're stealing my XP, man. Alright, let's try that. Is that cop still alive? Nope, the demo is. We can shoot the, uh, the normal Z's with the M16. Be pretty good. I don't, I don't really want him to blow up. Not that it's going to cause us any trouble, but it'll just do more damage down there than we really want it to. Okay, let's get these top back off here. We got a lot of grenades left. We'll probably, we'll just use up the pipe bombs and then, you know, switch over to grenades after that. Pipe bombs are so cheap to make, though. A lot cheaper than grenades, so, you know, just making them mass, really, you know? Okay, so it's 145. Seems like it's kind of slowing down a little bit. Hopefully we'll get another big wave come through. Okay, here they, they're starting to come. Alright, we got a copper. So let's make sure he's dead. Looks like he is. Yeah, see, that's not shoot, killing those guys because I just don't have high enough skills yet to be really effective. Not on these in-game zombies anyways. But we'll get there. Eight hundred XP on that. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make three levels tonight, but we'll we should we should at least get halfway there. Uh, assuming we got more Zeke's coming in, it seems like it's kind of slowing down a lot. Come on, zombies, let's go. Give me more XP. Here they come. Here they come. Let's let's just wait for a really nice build up this time. We get a cop spit a couple times. Not not a big deal. We'll just repair as needed. Oh, uh, is that all you're gonna send me? Oh man. Good one, Bobby. Uh, what do I need? A. Okay, Molotovs are so iffy. <laughs> they're not as bad as they were in Alpha 17, though. In Alpha 17, they were... Half the time, they would blow up in your hand before... As, you know, as much as they would blow up on the zombies. It was pretty bad. Okay, well, um, we're not getting a huge group down there. Stupid cop spit on us. Let's take a smaller bandage, since we didn't, he didn't do a whole lot of damage to us. Oh, we got puppies. All right, let's see what we get for this. 3,500 XP. You know, you know what I think's happening? I think when the explosion goes off and it, it blows the zombies up in the air, it's actually blowing them up into the fence, which is really awesome. Okay, we got an irradiated cop down there, so let's get ready to shoot him so he doesn't blow up. I think we got him. Okay, cool. So we got the XP and he didn't kill any of the other zombies. Cause he's, he's an XP stealer, man, that cop is. Among other things. <coughs> it really isn't necessary for me to run around like this because the explosives are all funneled down to the center anyway, but... <coughs> 5,700, okay. A buzzard? Really? That's funny. I don't think a buzzer can get to us. I hope he can. He sounds like he's like right down in the chute here too. All right, we're getting a nice little collection of them down there now. Let's wait for a few more. Okay, here we go. I think we have a cop down there, don't we? Yeah, right there. Okay, is he dead? Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah, we're just about halfway to the next level. So, two and a half levels. Not too bad. I need to, you know, figure out... Try and be, maybe be a little bit more efficient with my explosion cycles here. Mostly, you know, keeping those cops from stealing our XP. I think it's a big one. Is he dead? Yeah, looks like he is. 
three o'clock. We have one hour left. Maybe, let's see if we can get to uh, three quarters of the way to the next level. That would be nice. Okay, we are almost out of pipe bombs. So whatever that amount was, I should have counted. I actually didn't. That was actually a pretty good amount to have. But like I said, hopefully we'll have, um, soon, you know, have a rocket launcher too. With, you know, with the frag rockets. I think that does a little more damage than the frag grenades. I'm not positive. I'd have to look, but I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, then there's not really much point in having a rocket launcher. Might as well just use grenades, you know? But I, I want to I say that it probably does. Otherwise, why would anybody ever use one? I mean, it, it would have situational uses, but, you know, because... Whoa! You can direct the... Uh, that zombie hit me when, on the way down. You could direct the rocket a little better than a grenade and shoot further away, but... I would expect, you know, that the explosion would be a little bit better. You know, the damage would be a little bit better. Just a normal feral. A normal feral. Listen to me talk. Yeah, come on, bring him down. Bring him down. That's a big group. Okay, we are now all grenades for the rest of the night in terms of our explosives. Ah, oh, shoot the cop. I, I missed him. Dark on it. Dark on it. <laughs> I, I actually saw that cop go down there too, but I, I forgot, you know, that he was there. Speaking of which, let's just do a couple of quick touch-ups here. Let him build up a little more. Okay. Okay, now, let's make sure we get the cop this time. Did it kill him? Yeah, looks like it did. Okay. Okay, next round. It's funny when the grenades hit the zombies as they're falling down. Make sure that son of a bitch is dead this time. I hear another cop down there. Where is he? Is that like just a new one that just fell down there? Okay, there's a new one. Two new ones. I hope that wasn't enough to cause those cops. Yeah, it was. Darn it. I should have I should have shot shot him at that point. That's right, we're we're kinda learning how the base works, you know, so we'll we'll be a little more prepared next time for, for that. Let's just kill him right now. And it's morning. Look at that, we got about three quarters of the way to the third level. That's not bad. That's not bad. We we could have potentially hit three levels, um, you know, if I would have been able to control the cops a little bit better. But that's okay. I'm I'm not I'm not at all displeased with how things turned out tonight. This base is definitely effective. It works quite well. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. Okay, who's left? We got a big mama. She's dead. And we got a white, I guess. And he's dead. All right, you guys. Wow. That uh that went well. That went really well. I mean, we have very, very little damage up here to speak of. Just, you know, just touch-up damage, really. Um, and the blocks down below re held up exceedingly well, too. I mean, nothing is broken down there. Nothing's completely... Look at the dog hanging on the, the cage there. Nothing's completely broken. So, yeah, this, this held up super well. All right, cool. So, um, let's see here. I want to, let's put some of these nades in here. Uh, I want to grab some concrete, and I guess we already have the steel with us. I don't think we're going to need any rebar frames for anything that I can think of. And uh, there's a couple things I want to look at before I let you guys go. You know... We're gonna we're just gonna celebrate by eating this meat stew even though we don't quite need to yet because I think I think we our character earned it. <laughs> I think he earned it. Oh man, that went that went well. That went well. I'm super pleased. All right, let's turn this off. See, we didn't hardly use hardly any gasoline in, in that at all. So, uh, all right, let's check these. I don't. Yeah, see that fence post. I thought both fence posts would take damage, but apparently it's just the one on the end that takes damage. Interesting. Okay. 
So let's get those repaired. Uh, what I want to look at in particular is I want to look at the chute. And I want to see, you know, if there's if there was any damage done inside the chute. And oh, you know what? We've got all those we've got all those yellow bags we need to loot too. So let's go down this way. We can just leave that open for now. <laughs> nice dog. All right. Well, only four yellow bags survived. Well, that'll that'll sell for a lot. Uh, okay, not too bad. What do we got here? All right. And what's this one? Nice. Okay. Pretty decent stuff. Since we're down here, we might as well harvest these guys. Okay, yeah, there's there's some damage, I mean, but it's very minimal. Well, I wouldn't say very minimal, but not too bad. Definitely held up, you know, for the night, easily. Because, you know, when they fall through here, they do, they do kind of whack it a little bit, but... You know, nothing was nothing was close to to being completely destroyed. So, I'm pretty pleased, you know, with how you know how this all turned out. The other thing I want to look at, and I'll I'll show you guys before we end this episode. So I'm going to take a look at the top too, and see, you know, how the uh, the top platform fared. There we go. Then we can jump up onto here. Okay, so let's nerd pull out all the way to the top, and then I will, when I nerd pull back down, which I'll do after I let you guys go, I'll, I'll just, you know, touch everything up in the chute. But the chute held up really well. There's very, very minimal damage in here, which is awesome. I'm just curious to see how things held up up here. Oh, this looks great. This looks really good. Just, you know, very minimal surface damage on the... On the upper, well, that one's that one's kind of banged up. Because I think what they do is I think they kind of some of them, anyways. They don't immediately jump in the hole. They kind of hang out up here a little bit before they do. Another thing that could possibly be happening too is they could be maybe at at times getting clogged up in the hole. And if that happens, you know, then they could be hitting on the blocks in the meanwhile. But nothing major. Nothing major at all. And just look and see what it looks like up here. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Completely damage free. Oh, no, not completely. There's a little bit here. So probably a couple of them derped out in this corner and, you know, did a little bit of damage before they decided, oh, I should probably go down in the hole. <laughs> or maybe they were the smart ones and said, I'm not going down there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, this looks really good. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm, I'm very pleased, you know, with how everything turned out. We got two points and almost, you know, with the upgrade, it almost got three levels. Uh, so we're going to put uh, this point into Machine Gunner, and we're going to just keep pumping Fortitude because I want to get up to... Uh, oh, we're going to need two points for that. Okay. I want to get up to uh, Special Forces. And I think once we hit Special Forces, uh, and especially, you know, if we can come up with a little bit better quality M60, which when we hit Special Forces, we'll be able to make a blue one of these anyway. Uh, those two things together should make us reasonably effective, you know, with, you know, with the M60 and with the, um, the AK. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think uh, about about the base and about the design and about how everything went. Uh, any suggestions you might have for doing better? You know, I, I do realize, you know, after seeing how things went tonight, that the cops were a minor problem. Definitely not a major problem, but a minor problem. Mostly from the standpoint, again, that they, you know, they kind of stole some of my XP by blowing up. Um, and me losing the XP on both them and any other zombies they might have taken out with them in the process. So uh, we need to try and control that a little bit better next time. But other than that, I mean, I think everything else went really, really smooth. And uh, just, you know, super pleased with how things went. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Uh, be safe. All that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.